Uh, wow. I guess that's why Big Save Dave is going to the All-Star Game, huh? I guess so, eh? I thought he was going in case McDavid and Drysaddle jump Kachuk. Hi, kids! Victorious puppies, huh? This team is ruining my life! Why do I watch hockey? Stress relief, okay? We can, and we will. You know what, boys? If it was an overtime loss, I wouldn't be giving you these. But it's the shootout, and it doesn't count. Just because Big Save Dave hates dogs, clearly! Is Dave Riddick a big mean man? He is. He's mean. Give me a high five if Riddick is mean. That's right. Leafs! Tie! In the shootout, one to one, and then the Flames won in the shootout. The, fl the Flames won the shootout. You win the game if you win in the first three periods, or you win the game if you win in overtime. You win the shootout if you win the shootout. Look in the regulation wins column, you will not find shootout wins. Shootout wins are not wins. Steve, do you do this when the Leafs win in the shootout? Yes, I do. Dude, nobody likes the shootout. Most fans do not like the shootout. Is there a fan base out there that is like, it's good actually? Actually, I'd like to start with a question. How can a team with a good goaltender and a stacked offense be so bad at the shootout. Because the shootout's not hockey and it's got nothing to do with those things. Robin Leonard was nominated for the Vezina last year. He was one of the best goalies in the league. He still is. Sucks in the shootout. Think of how long the shootout has been around. It's been around since 2005. Who has been the Leafs' best ever shootout shooter? Tyler Bozak leads the Leafs in all-time shootout goals with 19. Joffrey Lupul is second with 11. And just to put a cherry on top, Matt Sundin, who has been retired for over a decade, has 10. He's third. Shootout percentage amongst players who have taken at least 10 shootout shots with the Leafs. Lupul is first with 45.8. There's Bozak. There's Sundin. Coberle? Blake? Holland? Going down the list a little? Parento? Jeff O'Neill? Steen? Oh, and there's Matthews. Lindros? He's tied with him. Matthews and Soshnikov, both 33.3%. So they're equal. They're the same. I look at Austin Matthews and Nikita Soshnikov and I'm like, these are the same. The shootout is not hockey. It's a drill. It's a fun drill. Neat little skills competition. Next weekend, we're going to see the only time where I want to see the shootout. Give us more overtime, boo! Actually, last night's overtime might be one of the only times where I was like, alright, maybe the shootout. Big save, Dave. Like, what do you do? What do you do? Big save, Dave. <laughs> Incredible performance by Freddie Anderson and that as crisp a defensive performance you could expect out of this team in general when they're healthy, but when they're the way they are, it's even more impressive. Man, they got goalie. They got goalie. Big save. Dave, Dave, you gotta bow down. Well, the Leafs have lost four of their last five. Should I be concerned? Context is important. I freaked out about the Panthers game because, dude, it was awful. Forget 8-4. 8-4 doesn't describe how awful it was. It was 7-1. Was it even 8-1? Doesn't matter. It was awful. This should give you an idea of how rare David Riddick's performance was. The Leafs have scored three or more goals in each of their last 18 games, except for two. Both were against Dave Riddick and the Calgary Flames. And you could argue that the Leafs were the better team in both games. They choked the first one, and in this one, they got goalied hard. You can also look at it this way. If you're going to beat the Leafs when they play that way, when the Leafs play the way that they did last night against the Calgary Flames, that is the type of goaltending performance it's going to take. That's what it takes. Otherwise, the Leafs are going to light you up like the big goofy tree at the Eaton Center. Big save, Dave, and give credit to the Calgary Flames defense, too. A couple robberies with the sticks, like, right on the goal line. You can be mad. You can be mad. You should always be frustrated when your team lost the game that they should have won one, but you can't be mad at the team. Like the two-on-one with Kapanen and Janssen, I saw a couple people mad that Kapanen shot it. Dude, he almost scored and then Janssen did! The way the puck bounced right under Janssen's stick, it was almost like it was on purpose! But, big save it, David. By the numbers and by the eye test, here's what you need to know about this game. The Leafs outshot the Flames 36-32. to The Flames had to block 23 shots to the Leafs 11. And somehow, some way, this glorious chance for a wraparound goal by Mitch Marner turned into this ridiculous Gumby nonsense from Dave Reddick. This wide open rebound for Andreas Janssen did not go in. Look at all that net. It's usually good when you can see the camera. This shot with about five minutes to go in the third on a streaking two on one from the hottest goal scorer in the entire National Hockey League was not a goal. Sometimes you just get goalied. All you can do is take your hat off. Bravo to Dave Riddick. Bravo to the Calgary Flames for helping him out a couple times. Man. 
man. It's crazy the streaks that the Leafs have been on this season, and especially under Sheldon Keefe, and the amount of goals they've been able to score, and a couple of their best games of the entire season. This one against Calgary Flames, and the home game they had against the St. Louis Blues earlier this game. They were losses in a couple of their best games. <gasps> I thought Matthews was flying. I thought Tavares had one of his best games in a while. Marner was flying. Janssen had his feet back. Kasperi Kapanen, that's one of my favorite games of his of the entire season. Timoshov didn't even play four minutes in this game, and he drew a penalty. And then Matthew Kachuk got in his face. Oh, so you will fight fourth liners then. Naturally, the Flames scored first. One of the only players I would say didn't have the strongest game. He had moments, but not the strongest game. I thought Rasmus Sandin. His first game was great. It was really good. But you cannot expect a teenager playing defense against men to be this awesome this quickly. And the Flames' only goal of the game, he was on the ice for. And he wasn't on the ice for any goals against the Devils. Travis Hamannick with the puck near the point. Derek Ryan comes flying in. This in front of the net is just not good enough. And I know it's the third pair, but that is not good enough. Great awareness, great play by Derek Ryan in general to just come in there, but Rasmus Sandin's barely got any idea he's there, and Cody Cece, for crying out loud, you gotta be harder on him than that. As a result, Ryan's able to tip the shot, and it's the only goal that beat Freddie Anderson this night. And it was a good little goalie duel going back and forth. It was one of those games where it wasn't high scoring, but most people seemed to enjoy. It wasn't boring. It was a goalie duel. The only thing that got in the way a bit, and again, this was another Another thing that went the least way was the officiating. The call on Sandine I thought was brutal. That wasn't a very good one at all, but the Leafs killed it. The tripping call on Sam Bennett for the hit on Goche, I'm like, isn't that a hit? But as luck would have it, the Leafs' one goal in the game would be on the power play. Toby Reader, Edmonton Oilers legend, takes a holding call on Kasperi Kapanen, and if Kapanen plays like that all the time, he's gonna draw a lot more calls. John Tavares, with the puck, and it's like the soccer episode of The Simpsons. John Tavares, with the puck, holds it, holds it, holds it! And he gets the flames, eh, they just bite on it just a little bit, just a little nibble. And he passes it in front to noted net front presence rock star William Nylander. Do you understand William Nylander is scoring goals at the rate and location that David Clarkson was promised to? Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's got to be his 17th goal in that little net front presence diamond they got. And the Calgary native William Nylander ties it up at one. And if he got a couple more, that would have been great. If he got one more, that would have been great. That would have done it. But Big Save Dave was bloody spectacular. Freddie Anderson had to be the better goalie in overtime. Big Save Dave was the better goalie in the shootout. Freddie got fooled by one thing from Matthew Kachuk. There was one little interesting tidbit about this shootout revealed after the game from Riddick, though. From Joshua Clipperton, David Riddick on what he was thinking as Matthew Kachuk stepped up in the shootout. I hoped he watched the pre-scout on Anderson, and I was like, finally, someone shoots five-hole. I was glad he did it. And then he also said this. Did one save stand out above the rest? I don't know. Ask my groin. Uh, I will not, David. I will not. Okay, if Matthews and Marner could both get a hat trick each, scoring exclusively on Riddick's five hole at the All-Star game, that'd be great. And that's really all I got on this one. Uh, that's what happens when you're used to doing 10 goals a game. But not every video's gotta be like 18 minutes long. Questions? Fnuff rumor, question mark? All right, let's get this out of the way right now. There is no Fnuff rumor. Nope. Isn't one. Tweet from Nick Alberga. As per Sam A. McKee, Dion Phaneuf spotted at Scotiabank Arena walking with Brendan Shanahan. <gasps> First of all, Nick Alberga works at Sportsnet, so does Sam McKee. Sam's a producer. Now, Nick likes stirring the pot a little bit. I think that's what those eye emojis were. But was Phaneuf signing a contract? Was he getting his equipment on? No, he was Walking! You know, I walked with Brendan Shanahan in Scotiabank Arena once, but idiot, I didn't have a pen on me, and to think I could be a Leafs defender right now. This from Mark Masters, or Bob McKenzie, or whichever, they're from the evil three letter, but Dion Phaneuf shadowing Leafs president Brendan Shanahan for a few days to get a feel for the business side of the game. Hey, that makes sense. That makes sense. That happens. That happens all the time. I remember hearing an interview where Jody Shelley did it. Actually, didn't Brendan and Shanahan do it? Didn't Steve Eiserman do it just a few years ago and now he's one of the better executives going? Walking, shadowing. 
That's it. Brandon Shanahan, a former player, showing another former player the business side of the game. That makes a lot of sense. A Leafs and Flames game? Oh, that makes even more sense. There is no rumor. There was no rumor. That's the fact. They're not signing them, guys. <laughs> is Martin Morinson bad or just having the Justin Hall effect like the more consecutive games he plays, the less I hate watching him? That's actually a really good point because Justin Hall looked awful in the games that he got in last year and he was asked to play a different style, obviously, but he also never got to play. How can you expect, how could you possibly expect a player to be good when he does not play? Even if a plumber does not plumb for six months, they're probably not going to be as crisp when they come back to plumb. Bing. I'm getting more and more comfortable with Martin Marinch, and he made a couple pretty good defensive plays in this one. Uh, my opinion of him hasn't changed. He's a serviceable guy. He's not ideal. He's really good without the puck in most instances. It's once he gets it that I want to hide under my pillow. How are you doing? You should treat yourself to something nice. Well, thanks. I'm gonna have chicken wings tonight. I haven't had chicken wings in a very long time. And then I'm gonna see a personal trainer in the morning. Wish me luck. And speaking of wish me luck, keep us in your prayers today from St. John's, Newfoundland. We are getting hit with 90 centimeters of snow? What? Today? And the wind's over 140 kilometers an hour? We're in a state of emergency. That is preposterous. So if anyone from Newfoundland still has power and is watching this, um, good luck. Holy crap. Did I, I did read that right. What? So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends that I got a book. This team is ruining my life. And I got a bunch of dates coming up. We got a bunch that are confirmed, some that are maybes. So I'll tell you when I have more confirmed. How about that?